Over the span of a decade, Hong Kong businessman and race car driver Jackie Young invested in buildings, a travel agency in Rearth Mines, to the tune of 31 million Australian dollars, according to court documents. But the only dividend he got? A bruised ego. Young was the target of an elaborate long con that saw him wind and dined from Dubai to the south of France. The scam involved fake government officials, gorgeous blondes and even a motorcade. It was perpetrated by Valentine Bellin, a small-time Ukrainian swindler with big ambitions. This past October, Bellin, 39, pleaded guilty to wire fraud and was sentenced by a U.S. district court in New York City to nine years in prison. In a letter to Judge Gregory H. Woods, prosecuting attorney Jeffrey S. Berman wrote that Bellin's fraud was stunning and brazen in its scope. This saga began in Kherson, Ukraine, where Bellin managed a so-called marriage agency, essentially a service designed to hook up foreign, often affluent men with potential brides. In 2008, a golden goose fell into Bellin's lap when, according to a defense sentencing memo, Young arrived in Ukraine possibly looking for a bride but also quickly engaged Mr. Bellin about potential investment opportunities. Young's attorney strongly denied his client was looking for a wife. Bellin charmed the racer into investing in a travel agency. A year later, Young had also bought seven buildings and a sports field for some $14 million. None of the properties were actually purchased. But Bellin kept Young on the hook by wiring him around $78,000 which the Ukrainian claimed was rental income, each month. The 58-year-old Jackie Young won one professional race after 116 entries. Source, Getty Images Next, Bellin pressed Young into investing in a rare mine, which would provide metals for electronic devices. Again, it was only a figment of the scammer's imagination. And what an imagination it was to convince Young of his credibility. Bellin in 2010 organized a motorcade for the driver in Ukraine and introduced him to a government minister at her estate. She was, in fact, a woman Bellin had hired to play the role. The home was a hotel. Bellin also brought in a bogus fellow investor who presented documents that claimed she had bought into the Rearth Enterprise for around $782,000. Young, who one insider described as into racing and living large and looking for opportunities, fell for it all. In the summer of 2010, Bellin and Young traveled to Dubai to work on a deal for a mine. There the driver was introduced to the non-existent, government minister's daughter, who Bellin claimed was a Yale graduate, Young questioned why this Ivy Leaguer spoke no English. According to court documents, Bellin said she did not need to learn it, because she had studied Russian literature. From 2011 to 2013, Young wired a total of $7 million to Bellin's bank account. The driver claims he sold his home and his Bentley and McLaren luxury autos to free up funds. By 2014, Bellin convinced Young to sell a building he owned in order to fund another mining investment. Bellin even provided buyers for the building, saying they would directly pay Bellin, who would use the cash to purchase mine shares. As proof of the sale, Bellin sent Young a photo of himself with stacks of cash, but no buyers existed. Instead, the transferred ownership of the $20 million building went to Bellin. The bias, the bank's statements and even the cash pictured, were all fake, Berman wrote to Woods. Jackie Young in Kowloon in 2015. Source, Getty Images The charade fell apart thanks to Bellin's girlfriend, Alina Chamashenko. By the spring of 2018, that relationship had turned rocky, a source characterized it as tumultuous. In July of that year, Bellin took their two young sons to L.A. without Chamashenko's consent. Weeks later, the trio made it to Manhattan, where Chamashenko caught up and filed a Hague Convention action, designed to resolve international kidnapping cases. There, Bellin refused to let Chamashenko see their children. So she retaliated. 
to put pressure on Val, Alina called Jackie, and told him, that Val had stolen their children and was not allowing her to see them, said the source. Jackie asked Alina about his investments, including the mines. Alina told Jackie she had no idea what he was talking about and that Val did not invest in mines. Jackie finally suspected that he'd been had and the Southern District of New York prosecutor's office was contacted. At Bellin's sentencing, defense attorney Florian Meadle insisted that Young and Bellin's relationship is complicated, ambiguous, multifaceted. But it came down to old school cunning and a naivete. As per Meadle, Mr. Young was blinded by opportunities that might have appeared to be too good to be true. This article originally appeared in the New York Post and was republished with permission let's block ads. Why?